Welcome back to guns.com. My name is Taylor and today I wanted to talk to you about what 2020 multi-gun nationals was like here in Frostproof, Florida. So I'm going to discuss a little bit about what the experience was as a competitor and also how to achieve a better mindset when things don't quite go your way. Nationals is naturally one of the biggest matches of the year. It's a two-day format, 12 stages, and you are presented with challenges that you don't necessarily see at local matches. The biggest thing that I took away from it as a competitor was the availability and complexity of the stages and the plans that you can make for it. What I mean by that is a lot of times at locals, you have maybe like one or two stage plans that actually make sense, where here there was a number of things that you could do and still yield very competitive stage times. The other thing too was a lot of people uh, were really, really thinking about that long range stage where you had to reach out to 650 yards on the steel, 400 on paper. And then there was also a start with the shotgun where you had to throw the clay and then shoot it with your shotgun, uh, which was a ton of fun. And overall, every single stage was very different and it utilized and challenged you on every single platform, shotgun, rifle, pistol. The vibe of this match was amazing. People were, of course, very, very competitive and they had the weight on their shoulders of being able to perform well at nationals. But there was also so many candid moments, people that who brought their kids and their family, dogs walking around. And the biggest thing that I took away from a two-day format national competition was honestly the community. So you shoot together all day, you're exhausted, and then at the end of the day, everyone comes together and we barbecue, you have drinks and you bond. And that's something that a lot of times in shooting sports we miss. You shoot the match, and then you go home and you don't see each other till the next weekend. We're here, you're kind of living and breathing it all together. You're sharing those memories and it was amazing. I loved seeing all of the junior competitors that came out, all of the women, and of course, all of the big names. So that was really, really cool to see. Now, how did I do, you ask? I DQ'd. Let's talk about this a little bit. So DQing is when you get disqualified from a competition. And what I had done is I ended up breaking the 180 on a stage. This is something that shouldn't happen, but it is actually a big part of shooting sports. So, you know, from every competition, there's gonna be at least, I would say less, about a 10% or less ratio of people who might get disqualified. And it's something that oftentimes people feel really ashamed about it and you get down on yourself and you go into this dark place. But what I will say is that at the end of the day, you have to be a professional. Now, one thing that I talked about with a lot of people is that no one remembers who won the match two years ago, but they do remember the person on the squad who was bitter, had a bad attitude, that sticks out to you. And when you see that person again, it just kind of brings back those old memories. But when you are a professional and you have a great attitude and you come back with a vengeance, then that's what really matters. So how I overcame this and hopefully could help you in overcoming a similar situation is was honestly stepping away for a minute. I had to step away take a breather and once I calmed down and let the emotions sort of settle then I went back to my squad and I finished it up for the day because that's my job. I'm not just going to leave them and let them reset everything by themselves and just ditch the match. So you got to go back finish your day out and finish it on a strong note. Now, I also worked the match. Uh, so I worked both the uh, two days of the main match and I carried that through as well. And again, you have to recognize that you have to have a higher mindset. If you go into a dark place and you start to feel really, really bad about what happened and you get down on yourself and you start ripping yourself apart, that's not benefiting you or anyone else who is around you. But if you own it and you recognize, you know what, I did this wrong. I learned from it and I could overcome it. And you know what? It happens to everyone. And what everyone typically says is that it's not a matter of if you're gonna DQ, it's when you're gonna DQ. So I am really excited to move on and to perform much better at the next match. But I do encourage you, if it ever does happen to you, to take the high road. You know, it's something that you have to be strong mentally in the sport and unfortunately overcoming challenges such as DQ or a performance that may not be up to par is a part of it. I hope you enjoyed my short little recap of nationals that happened 
2020 Frostproof Florida. And I look forward to sharing with you more about the different competitions that happen around the country with both 3Gun and USPSA. Please comment, like, share this. Let me know what your thoughts were, especially if you are a competitor or someone who is looking to get into competitions. I would love to hear what kind of content y'all would like to have. You could check out the other content, firearms and stuff we have on guns.com. Once again, my name is Taylor and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.